So the second topic in probability is called expected success. And it is how many times you would expect something to happen given the probability. So if you were to flip a coin twice, you would maybe expect to get a heads like at least once. Or you flipped a coin 20 times, you would probably expect to get roughly about, about 10, 10 heads and 10 tails. So that's what you've got to do for these. You've got to work at the probability of something and then use that um, with how many times you're doing it. Um, so for example, one, if we were to roll dice, how many times would you expect to get three? If you rolled the dice 240 times, 420 times, and 3,000 times, okay? So a lot of times to roll dice. So firstly, we're going to work at the probability of getting a three on a dice. So probably getting a three on a dice is just one over six. So one over six is our probability, okay? So essentially what we're going to do is find a sixth of 240, okay? So division sum, six and two doesn't go. Six and four goes three times, six and zero, zero. So you would expect to do it 30 times. Okay, and it works the same way for them all. So 420 times, we were doing a sixth of that. So we're doing a sixth of 420. So four and six and four doesn't go. Six and 42 goes seven times. Go so 70, so 70 times. And then the last one we're doing sixth of 3,000 doesn't go five zero zero so it's five hundred times okay so find the probability of a as the fraction first and then find that fraction of the amount of times that you're doing it in a country in europe expected that it will rain three in every 10 days how many times do you expect it to rain in 30 days so we're gonna so the probability of it raining is three over ten so you're going to find three tenths of 30. Okay, so three tenths of 30, so one tenth, so 30 divided by 10 is three, and then times it by three. So remember how to find a fraction of something is you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So 30 divided by 10 is three, times three is nine. I can write that down, 30 divided by 10 times by three equals nine. Uh, I should write days. So for B, we're going to find three tenths of 300. 100, 100, sorry. So 100 divided by 10 is 10, times by 3 is 30. So it's 30 days. Okay. Last one's a bit trickier because it's a year. So remember, a year is 365 days. Um, and so we're going to take 365. We're going to divide it by 10 and times it by 3. So... 365 divided by 10 is 36.5, which I'm then going to times by 3. So 36.5 times by 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 8 is 8. 3, no, 3 times 8 is 18 plus 1 is 19. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So 109.5. So I'm just going to round up to 110 days.